Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton from ID People. I'm here at ID World in Rio de Janeiro and I'm joined by Armando Lucrecio from the Fluxtronics Institute of Technology. Yes. Thank you very much for joining me. You've given a presentation already this morning. Um, talk me through the topic you were discussing uh, and what Fluxtronics' role is within that project. Yes, I uh, was here presenting RFID Koi. Uh, was a startup uh, with uh, HP. Uh, HP actually uh, invested a lot in the RFID in the 2005 year. Uh, we have been developing um, many uh, applications and uh, uh, to the industry, especially mm -hmm. in the manufacturer industry, electronic manufacturer industry, uh, and in, in a combined uh, effort with uh, HP, we pretty much one of the first institutes in the world to implement. Um, at RFID tags and at the item level. Okay. So since uh, 2005 to now, HP right now has uh, at the item level tags on uh, inkjet printers, laser jet printers, toners, uh, cartridges. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about uh, we're talking about 25 to 30 million tags okay. per uh, year. So okay. it's kind of a huge achievement, actually. Yeah. In the cartridge operation also, we automate a complete factory, the RFID. Okay. So it's kind of a unique case in the world. Okay. Uh, so yeah. this is kind of neat stuff we have been doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that technology years. has been developed, what, here in South America? Yes, it's uh, through uh, RFID Koi, uh, okay. where we work right now. And the institute is where, in Sao Paulo? It's or? in Sorocaba, oh, the okay. interior of Sao okay. Paulo, yep. where also the manufacturing plant is. Okay, so and that's manufacturing the, um, the cartridges for? Uh, yes, it's well, pretty. It, yeah, exactly. So all the printers, all the cartridges, the toners are two plants separate, but are really close together. Okay, and they're being directly fulfilled to HP's customers, or yes, uh, this is kind of the project that we uh, are doing for HP, but we do hmm. also other projects for uh, different companies. Yeah, yeah. So as a as a contractor, um, as an outsourcing partner. Um, and uh, you've got a, actually got a demonstration of the software. Yes, uh, we have a, just a, a new thing we are working in is a kind of a, uh, working as a RFID as a system yep. where we can have a system in the cloud so you can have a real time access to the information that you, is happening in your operation. Okay. So you can have the operation real time okay. accessing all the codes. Uh, okay. So it should be interested to show. Let's that. have a quick look at that. Yeah. So pretty much we see this is the main page that is yeah. just a, it's just a demo just for mm. this purpose. So if we want to enter, uh, just click it in this uh, this this button over here. So you're going to sign in as a as a, a master. Let's say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we sign in. So basically, it's a one application. So already sign in is just one application that we have. So and we can see, uh, it's uh, we can have uh, different uh, companies. So I just put Wise Media yeah. and uh, and the RFID Koi. So I can put uh, as many companies as you want. So all the operation is running with the RFID, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the the data can come from different parts in the world. Let's say, and uh, each uh, tenant we call tenant or company can access to this information through their uh, page. Okay. So for example, uh, this is kind of the uh, admin page. But if you go to the another tab over here. So this should be the RFID as a service from one customer, and yeah. then should be the the coi. Uh, yeah. uh, and if you go to the other, other. Sorry, it's more difficult the other way around. So you see here another customer, yeah. different and you branding, can do different, different branding, different colors. Yeah. So you can customize. I'm not show you how you customize. Yeah. It's really quick actually. So you can in a really fast manner to update. You you can create a lot of companies and at in the instant you can have all your operation in uh, in your hand let's say or okay. you have your operation accessible to any yeah. any device android iphone yeah whatever. and that would be used to for them to manage their supply chain to see where everything is in their supply chain exactly. what products in in manufacturing this is a framework basically this is a framework uh, that we are developing uh, that will 
can collect RFID, can collect uh, NFC, can collect uh, sensor temperature, mm. can, you know, can access any type of information. And actually, the customers can create applications on top of it. Right. So it means that it's a flexible as Facebook, let's say, mm -hmm. you can play, play games and all yeah. this stuff. The same stuff here, so you can, uh, you have your data in your, in your uh, database, yeah. separate databases, so you can, uh, uh, can bring put some in intelligent, yeah. you can do uh, BI and ERP, or you can create any other application inside of this framework. So this is a framework for you to develop your own applications, and the companies can do that by themselves. Also. Okay, and it comes in there as a as a as a dashboard. If oh you like, yeah, exactly. Uh, for them to for them to reference it. Okay, and and for example, with the um, with the HP HP product, you've um, you've done the development on that for them. You've put the program in for them. Is that rolled out? Is that a live? Yeah, we, platform? Uh, yeah. For uh, for uh, for HP, we kind of have things in the uh, rolling on. So I will not speak about that. Mm -hmm. What we are doing with them, but uh, we are much further than this. But yeah. uh, uh, this is uh, what we. <laughs> For the future, to have this worldwide uh, access yeah. to the yeah. to the product. Yeah, and in terms of the of the Institute of Technology of Technology that you have here in um, in South America, what kind of numbers of engineers and designers? Yeah, are there? Uh, in the institute we have around two hundred engineers. Okay. Uh, so regarding software, regarding uh, RFID, uh, regarding yeah. hardware, and the Synctronics, a sustainability lab, okay. also a certification lab. So a kind of pretty robust mm. uh, R&D institute, yeah. uh, and uh, also HP also added uh, a lot of um, uh, uh, invested a lot in the in technology, in the technology of it. Yeah, yeah. But in terms of how you connect into the larger Flextronics family, is um, is Brazil the center of excellence for RFID within Flextronics, or are you tapping into other? Other parts of the, the design organization. Uh, actually, we uh, are uh, participating in a project on a worldwide uh, scale. Mm -hmm. So every time uh, Flextronics needs uh, uh, any type of R and D uh, in the in their manufacture plants uh, regarding RFID or regarding a technology that we have in mm. in house. So we develop also systems for uh, Flextronics worldwide that okay. is running in all the plants. Okay. Uh, and uh, not only RFID, but software as ERP, we develop uh, and we customize it in our institute, for example. Okay. Uh, so we pretty much work with Flextronics, is our uh, main client, because it's in in-house client. Yeah, yeah. Uh, HP is one of the biggest ones yeah, also, the ones. and the other yeah. many big, many, many, big, big, many big companies that we are working on, now starting up an uh, automation laboratory also okay. for a big company, we're going to start uh, developing uh, automation also. Okay. So it's a startup right now. Okay, excellent. Well, Armando, thank you very much for stopping by. Fascinating project. Yeah, my uh, pleasure. And all the best with it. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, all the best.